Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 11 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, I'm going to try something. Let's see, if I got myself some lapis. I think a whole stack ought to do. And then did this. Windmaker, I hope it's going the right way. It's not. So shift right click to blow in the other direction. You can kind of see these little particles. It might be working. I think it's working. I see the, I see the blue flames on the lapis over there. Uh, yeah, I hear you person villager thing uh no thank you i don't want any solicitors i um currently trying to make uh the stuff yes i hear you guys out there i'll be there in a moment i'll come silence you forever but not forever because that's not how it works hey it worked Woohoo! i got prismarine crystals and prismarine shards nice I'm just gonna put out that fire now because we don't need a fire in the middle of our base. And I wanna go see what is all this noise outside. I'm trying to do things with the recording of the video and I just start, and as soon as I start recording, I hear very frustrating. And I even set up a no soliciting sign, which I've never really gotten to work that well. I don't know if this is on or off. I'm gonna do that and then see, does that mean it's on? I don't know. It's not clear, but I did set it up, but it clearly it didn't work. Yes, I hear you. I acknowledge your presence. I'm not even going to look at what trades you have. That's that's how frustrated I am at you showing up the moment I started recording. Like the instant I hit record, they showed up. They weren't there before, I promise. All right, so uh, where was I and what was I doing? Uh, I don't even know. I was making prismarine shards, that's right. Uh, the reason I wanted to make prismarine shards is I wanted to make this modification upgrade. Uh, to modify uh the pedestals uh upgrades because uh last episode we had a lot of fun with pedestals and it was super cool and uh today i want to be ready to modify our pedestal things and we only need one of these ever so this should be easy peasy to make now uh i did go into my geode that i found downstairs and mined up some amethyst shards and i think that's mostly what i did between episodes i think um so remember last episode we made the breaker uh that lets me break certus but we feel like it's kind of slow so we can upgrade the breaker uh, by either increasing the area it can affect or the speed at which it operates. Um, we can also increase the range if we get another star. Um, now you can you can increase the speed a couple different ways. I'm probably gonna go this route. So let's get a block of diamonds and an obsidian and see if that's cool beans, right? Um, and then we're, we're gonna need some more pedestals. So why don't I go ahead and create those uh, real quick. Uh, I need some more stone. Where is my stone? I'm just going to grab a few stacks of those. I could make a cobble works at some point, and that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, but why don't I just get a bunch of these pedestals? Because they are relatively cheap to make, uh, assuming you have some stone. Cool. That should be enough. Sweet. All right. Uh, so let's go set up our pedestals uh, doohickey here. So you can see it's all it's all operating. Uh, in theory. What's going on in there? Is it behaving itself? Hey, why did you break? What about you broke? How did you break? Oh, I did not put glass there yet, did I? Okay. Uh, yeah, what about you broke? So you're magneting. Is it that you're picking things up too quickly? What about you broke? Because your magneting range, let me see. There is a way to see the range of the magnet. Uh, I think you right click this. Yeah, maybe I should shrink this magnet's range a little bit. Does that sound cool? Yeah, I think my concern is that uh, it must have been picking up the Certus Quartz. And I hadn't run into that yet. So let's solve that real fast. Uh, what I'm going to want to do is get the work cards shift left click to remove the work area right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have you be here to here i think i might have to clear the positions first and then do that 
And then if I put you here, we'll see if that causes any issues. I'm hoping it won't. But now with the upgrade tool in your hand, you can right click the pedestal and see, you know, what's what's up. Okay, so that should be good. Cool, that works for me. Okay, good deal. Uh, now this is the thing that's slow, right? Like these things are fully grown. He should have broken them by now, but he's a little bit slow. So we're gonna we're gonna deal with that right now. Uh, but otherwise, I think things are going pretty smoothly for me um, for the most part. Yeah, see, like it's going just it's just slow. So let's set up the the pedestals thing. So to use a modification upgrade, um, what we have to do, I believe is infuses modification upgrades, bind pedestals to the upgrade, the bound order matters, insert upgrade into pedestal on top of chest and insert infusion items in order, upgrade goes in below chest. Right, so I think what we wanna set up, uh, I'm debating where I wanna put this, maybe like inside a little wall somewhere and give myself a little bit of space to operate in. All right, but I'm pretty sure what you do is you set up like a three by three. I don't think I need that there because uh, my feral flare lantern should cover me. Okay, so a three by three of pedestals, and then you want um, a chest, which uh, I may or may not have, but we can go get one. And you guys can go away for now. I have some I have some more processing to do because I also did some mining between episodes, but we'll get to that. Uh, so we can put the chest here, this here, and then we want to bind them, which uh, I accidentally left my pedestal binder thing in here. Okay, so I'm gonna bind you to here, you to here, you to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. And if I do need some kind of light, I'll put it in there. Okay. Uh, then we get the the upgrade that we want to, to get. So I'm going to go steal that mining upgrade with a shift left click. We put that on the pedestal. Okay. And then we put, um, so if we want to look at this dude we can see his upgrades are diamond goes in slot one obsidian goes in slot two so i think i just do this and this oh and you need to have the this thing on it i might have needed that there first i don't know oh wait hold on something's happening oh no i just moved that right 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 Missing work card. Oh, do I have to put a work card on there? It said I have to bind them, didn't it? Bind pedestals to the upgrade. The bound order matters. I might need to do that with a work card. All right, let me undo all that real quick. Okay, so, whoop. Connection removed, connection removed. This might need to be work cards. I did this once before and now I'm kind of forgetting exactly how it works. But if I get it working, I remember it being really useful to be able to do. So I might need like the regular work card, location, area, work card, machines. I think that's the one I need actually. Okay, work card, machines. And I think that's what it was trying to tell me. And you might need the linking tool itself. Okay, no wait, you need the, you need the work tool. This one, right. Right, so it's saying missing work card upgrade supports machines, right? And that's this one. So we want to link this, I think shift right click, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it should have them all listed there. And then that goes in this machine. Boom. Okay, that's I'm pretty sure right. Cool. 
And then as a reminder, we want diamond first, then obsidian, okay? So diamond first, then obsidian. And if that is configured right, it will hopefully do thing. Maybe. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go look and see what how this actually works, because now I'm confused, because I thought that was it. Insert upgrade into pedestal on top of chest and insert infusion items in order. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Let me, there must be a thing I'm doing wrong. Okay, I figured it out. It's the opposite of what it says. Uh, am I reading this wrong? Uh, I feel like I am. Uh, insert upgrade into pedestal on top of chest and insert infusion items in order. Upgrade goes in below chest. Okay, got it. It just is poorly worded, I'm gonna say. Um, <laughs> so, it's a little confusing, uh, but why don't I show you this? Um, I'm just gonna do one more. It's gonna cost a little bit, but that's all right. We're, we're all right on resources right now. Um, you, put, you put the upgrade itself in the chest below the pedestal, and then it'll move onto the pedestal, rather than putting it on the pedestal, and it'll go into the chest. It's the opposite of what I thought it was. Um, so we put diamond, we put obsidian and then we put this in the chest and it should see that the items popped off the pedestals that disappeared. Uh, and then when I pull this off of here, it's 20 out of 40 on speed. Sweet. Okay. So now if I go in here, hopefully uh, this will be faster. Uh, in theory, that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Now I could bump it up even further to like, you know, 40. Uh, what I might do also is just change the work upgrade to make sure that it's, yeah, that's, that's cool. I think that was quicker for sure, right? I'm going to say for sure that was quicker. Yeah, there definitely wasn't a long period of time where we were waiting for stuff. So yeah, nope, we're good now. It's working. Sweet. So I just wanted to show you guys the upgrade system because that's going to come into play probably a bunch uh, in, in the future. And I wanted to make sure you guys understood how that all worked, right? Uh, so now we should be cool there. And we should be cool here, here, and... Are we out of that stuff? We might be out of that stuff. And that was this one, right? Pulverized cobble? Is that what I'm remembering? Pulverized cobble. Yep. Cool. Beautiful. Okay, that'll work, right? That seems pretty cool to me. All right. So now that we've got that complete, uh, what should we start working on next, folks? That's a good question. I think what I'm thinking I might want to work on uh, I'd like, I'd like to get some, some good armor, uh, and especially like the ability to run faster and stuff. And I'm pretty sure I can get that from Ars Nouveau armor. So I might want to jump into Ars Nouveau for a little bit. Uh, I do want a wireless upgrade for this thing though. How am I for ender pearls? I've been doing a lot of trying to find endermen between episodes. So I've got, I've got a few, I've got a few, uh, I should be able to convert some of these. Is, does this do anything else? It makes some things, but mostly making ender pearls. So I'm going to just make ender pearls. Let's get uh, a wireless access point for A2. I think that would be super cool. Also, wireless access point from A2 lets you do something extra spiffy with uh, building gadgets. So I wanna show you that because it's cool. All right, so let's get one or two of you, I'm pretty sure is what I'm gonna need, but we'll find out. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Um, and then we should be able to get uh, this thing and this thing. And then we can get ourselves a wireless access point. And that just gets connected to the, the cabling somewhere. And then what we're going to want is a wireless crafting terminal. I'm going to put that on the to-do list because uh, of stuff. Um, now, dense energy cells, we're going to need, um, let's see. I think we need eight of these, right? Did I remember that correctly? Yes, eight of these. One, two, three. We're definitely going to need more Certus Quartz buds. Now, I didn't hook up my, my Certus stuff yet, and I probably should. 
Why don't I get a storage bus real quick? Uh, just so that I can do that. Okay, and that is going to require an interface, which is going to require you and you. We should probably look into auto crafting at some point soon too. That would probably be smart. But I can for now just tap you into here. Uh, I think you'll be all right. I don't have any idea how many channels are in use at this point. What I should probably consider doing is just running my cable from the side of that thing just to make sure we don't run into any cabling problems and channel problems until we sort out actually having, you know, the proper number of cables and whatnot and channels. But for now, I'll just, by doing that, we should be perfectly fine. And I should be able to change this out. Boom. And you're going to, again, like the other one, get a pretty high priority, right? So Certus will go in there uh, if you have it, and that should work. Cool? Good deal. And with that said, we are now able to get... Uh, some some good stuff going on. Uh, so you should have access to your Certus Quartz now. Now we obviously do need some dust, so I'm gonna probably sag mill that for now. And I will probably also speed that up a smidge. Where are you all going? Oh, stop doing that. I don't want that to happen. No pushing. I mean, I will probably need the silicon at some point anyway, but no thanks. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so again, making these guys, we're going to need uh, about five more glass. So I'm going to get two more sets of these. And we'll see how far this lasts. Didn't expect it to last that much longer. Fluix, uh, I guess we're good enough. We can just pulverize some. No big deal there. But we should automate Fluix as well at some point. And that probably once I get to the point where I can do like uh, auto crafting and all that, which I'm holding off on for a few, but I will I will obviously be getting to sooner than later. Uh, we will we will get that going. Um, so you should be good, actually. OK, and then a crafting table. Or a crafting terminal. And then finally, the wireless receiver which we should already have the Ender Pearl for, because remember I made an extra one earlier saying, I hope I need this. I was correct. Woo. Cool. Okay. So then you go in here, you get charged up. Uh, it looks like you store a lot of power, which is fine. I'll let that charge. And then let's get our wireless access point looking. So that's going to sit somewhere. For now, I'm just going to stick you on here, and that's good times. Now, here's a cool pro tip. Uh, check this out. Building gadgets uh, can be inserted into this guy and then they'll be bound to the AE system. You can also shift right click after you enable bind inventory mode. So turn on bind inventory mode, then shift right click on any inventory. So like chests, drawer systems, like pretty much anything that's an inventory can be interacted with um, and it will, it will bind to it. Now for AE, there's like a special condition that like, hey, it's an AE wireless access point. I'm gonna bind to the whole AE terminal. So you can either just stick it in there and you'll know it's bound because you'll see this little blue overlay saying, hey, I'm bound now, right? And that's pretty cool. So like, for example, uh, I don't think I have any bricks in my inventory, right? Um, so if I say I would like to build with bricks, okay, watch the number nine up here. See how it's a number four now? Hopefully that was easy to see on uh, on the YouTubes. And if I undo, it goes right back in there. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, all right. So that's, uh, that's a thing I'm proud of. So now you can interact with your AE2 system uh, and, and literally any blocks that exist in there can be built with, with building gadgets. Very proud of that. Okay, so with that all set now, we should be cool. You're charging up still. You're a little slow on charging. I think the slowdown is the advanced capacitor bank. I wound up placing the charger right on top of this, which is why this is set to output on the top. And uh, yeah, guess what happened? It was just as slow. 
So I'm thinking the charging bank has a limit to how much it can transfer. Uh, or not the charging bank, but the, the capacitor, dude, the advanced capacitor bank. So what I could do is try to speed that up a little bit by adding a new one on here. Now, I don't know if I have the stuff for it per se. We're gonna need more energetic alloy. And that was what, gold glowstone. We don't have a ton of it, but we can get, you know, some and redstone. And because I'm, you know, Mr. Impatient. Oh, and you guys can go away. I'm trying to keep my inventory relatively clean here. Not going to do a good job of it, mind you, but I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, so now, if I wanted the advanced capacitor bank, which I should probably just put on my thing. One, we're going to need six of those to get three of those. It's so much easier to craft once you have this all up and running. And then copper alloy was copper and silicone. You know, I'll just get all 12. Sweet. And then you should be good to go. And now you should hold twice as much power and you might be able to transfer twice as much, twice as fast. I don't know. I can't tell. I'd have to go look at the old video uh, footage. I wasn't actually paying attention to how much it was transferring and how fast. But hey, at least we have a bigger battery now. That never hurts. And then this thing will hold lots of power. Now, while I'm here, why don't we opt into the options, controls, keybinds, category, applied under just X2. Uh, actually, I don't think that's where it is. Open wireless crafting card is its own dude. Refined storage add-ons? No. Wireless. Open wireless terminal. I could try that. I like it to be tab. That's what I like it to be. I don't know what that is. Crafting tweaks? No. Integrated terminals? No. Integrated terminals? No. Refined storage? Not now. So we'll see if this works. That's probably enough. Oh, and it's a, it's a curio, so that's cool. So don't forget to bind this to your system by putting it in here. It goes into the top slot, but if you shift click, it goes in for you. And then it has its own little curio slot, which is cool. I think there's actually a grid. Isn't there a grid curio slot or does it just go into any slot? I guess it goes into any slot. Time in a bottle. I thought there was a grid one. There it is, grid. Aha, sweet. And then I should be able to hit tab and have access to my A system. Nice. Sort by number of items downward. I like it. Cool. And then uh, full height terminal style. That feels pretty cool. Now this does have a range of 16 meters. Um, and in order to improve that, we're going to need some wireless boosters, which need a little bit of ender pearling, but that's okay. That'll also boost the energy cost of this thing, but we're okay-ish on energy costs right now. So that's one to one, that's one to one, that's one to one, that's one to one. Uh, though you do get modifiers for this. So I'm gonna throw it in my sag mill and maybe I'll get lucky, maybe, All right? So if I grab some ender pearls, let's get like three of them. Uh, now it looks like I can craft one more of these. Oh good, I can. All right, uh, yeah, we'll try four, we'll try four. Uh, and let's make sure that we have a good modifier if I can. Do I have energetic alloys? Can I turn those into like this? And that has a main output of 160%, so maybe that'll give me extras. We'll try. Go, Sagmo, go. Hey, yeah, it did, it doubled it, see? I got three that time, ha ha. Ha ha ha, I got six ender pearls. Ha ha ha. That's cool. And that'll get me 12 of them, because you get two boosters per ender pearl. And that's going to give me a range of 57.5 meters. And it uses a little bit more energy. Uh, if I put this in RF, it's using 54 RF of tech uh, to, to maintain that. But that's okay. We're generating a healthy amount of RF per tick with our solar panels, which are super cheaty uh, and kind of broken. But that's okay, right? And are you running fast enough now? You seem to be cooler. You definitely seem to be cooler. I like it. Everything seems to be going good here. And look how many... Uh, Look how many of these I got. I set this to be 512, by the way, on the insert card. 
so that it builds up to 512 of these, even though it can hold 1,000, and then it starts accumulating regular service rather than charged. Because generally speaking, you need more regular than charged anyway. So I think that's a smart play. Sweet. All right. So, hey, wireless A system is a go. And I'm cool with that. Linked network cannot be found. Why are you telling me that? Why are you saying that? That's a lie. Linked network exists, I promise. Uh, options, controls, keybinds, tab. I feel like somebody is hard coding the tab or something. I don't know. Oh well, we're just gonna have to ignore that message. I don't know which which mod is causing it, but we'll have to ignore it for now because I don't know. I don't know what would be doing that. There must be some mod that uses something for tab, and like it's not a keybind you can change, and it's not showing up in the list. All right, let's come back. Actually, I don't think it's a hotkey issue because I find when I right click the terminal to open it, I'm getting the same message down there. So I don't know what that is, but probably just some kind of minor bug that'll get sorted at some point. Cool. So there we go. Grid, good. Uh, let's clean this up and let's start looking at what we're going to work on next. So I'm thinking Ars Nouveau would be a fun one to get into because like I said, there's some there's some cool armor, there's some cool tr movement abilities, like especially just even early game, the ability to like leap and fly around is going to be super useful. So let's get ourselves a worn notebook and get ready to start this probably really starting next episode. Uh, but if we make ourselves a worn notebook at least first, uh, we should be able to, to learn a little bit about the mod. Um, and then if we got ourselves a novice spell book, that would also be cool. We're going to need a little bit more paper uh, and we can get ourselves a novice spell book and maybe even an advanced one. We'll see. So you and the novice spell book. Uh, so we're going to need this and we're going to need this and we're going to need this. Awesome. I am a big fan of Ars Nouveau, as you guys may or might not know. Uh, Unbreaking 10, acquire a novice spellbook. I guess accurate. I guess that's a way to, to phrase that. Uh, cool. Uh, so we can open up the spellbook with this. You'll notice that once you have a spellbook in your inventory here, you'll have a mana bar. Now, is that set up to, yeah, it only shows up when you have the spellbook equipped, which I always kind of like. Like, I don't like, I don't like UI clutter. So if you can avoid having a lot of clutter on your, your UI, that's good. And, and Ars Nouveau does a good job with that. It's only going to let you see that. But I think there is a config to have it on um, for like, oh, we show it or something. Uh, I don't know what that summon lily thing is. I don't know, whatever. Uh, sounds, familiars. Oh yeah, familiars, that sounds cool. Uh, color picker, documentation. Here's all the, the documentation that's also available in the Warren notebook. Sweet. Okay, uh, so now we should be able to make spells. So for example, if I wanted a spell that breaks whatever block I'm looking at from a distance, I could do a projectile break spell. Uh, and that would be about it, I think. I have to actually save it though. So you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna do projectile harm first and create. And then spell number two can be projectile break. We'll name that break and create. Cool. And now we can shoot a projectile that will break whatever block it hits. And you can use hotkeys to Extended inventory still locked. Eat the cake. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that. Options, controls, keybinds, key X. Um, so no, yes, no, 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 no. Okay. And just to be clear, Z is how you go to the previous slot. Uh, I don't think I need to effort chisels and bits stuff. Um, Alt Z, I guess I'll just leave it alone. Okay, cool. So now we should no longer get that message. Awesome. Okay. Cool, right? Love it. Love, love Ars Nouveau. Super fun mod. Uh, and there's a bunch of cool spells that we're going to unlock very soon. And to unlock spells from Ars Nouveau, we need the table. Now, I could also, by the way, upgrade my novice spellbook. Uh, I'm going to need blaze rods. I don't quite have them yet, so let's hold off on upgrading it. Uh, so we want the table from Ars. I remember that. It's, I think it's called table, right? Uh, scribes table. So in order to get this, we're going to need some... Um, some arcwood logs. And arcwood, I think we've found out and about in the world, uh, at least in a few spots. So if we look on our map, we should see some. I think there's some over here. That looks like arcwood. So northwest of me, which would be this way. See that red tree over there and that blue one? Those are both arcwood trees. I don't think there's a difference between them, aside from appearances. Um, so, you know, 
grab whichever one you want. And what I'll probably wind up doing is mining gadgets my way into, into clearing it out. And that's cool. Okay. Make sure to get all the leaves so no mess. Perfect. Is that a thing down there? Oh, it is. Hello. I always grab them when I can because you want as many of those things as you can get and they're not easy to find. Uh, so whenever you see those little dudes, if you're going to go into, which I will at some point, uh, into, into that mod, you'll, you'll want to play with it and, and grab them whenever you can. Sweet. All right. So let's go put all this junk away. And yeah, I do have wireless access, but still. Uh, so we've got the resonating crystals. I don't need these torches at the moment. Frostoya. Oh, that's cool. Potion of freezing. That's new. That's new. I've not I've not seen that before. Uh Arqua trees apparently have. Oh cool. Neat. That's a new thing for me. Okay. Uh so you can also grow them, obviously, with the, the saplings. And then I got a bunch of logs. So let's get a few planks and let's get a few slabs. Because I know I'm gonna need a few slabs at least, right? So to get this scribes table. Which, uh, for now, I'm going to do this. And for you, it's easier to build and gadget this than it is to open up my inventory and pull one out. Cool. Yoinks, that stuff can all go away. And I'll throw a scribe stable in here. Now, at some point, I would like to have an Ars uh, area. Like, a, like an area uh, within which to do some Ars Nouveau-y stuff. Um, I've, I've, I've requested via Twitter a few, uh, uh, once or twice to, if anybody wants to submit a cool R's building. So if you guys have a cool building, you'd like to see me put my R stuff in, go ahead and, uh, submit it on that discord, uh, that I linked in my latest Dyer news video. So check that out. Uh, so for now we should be able to get some cool stuff. So to learn new spells is pretty easy. You just right click your book on the table. And here's a list of all the spells that are available. Spells are broken up into different tiers, tier one, two, and three. And in order to cast these tiers, uh, you need the tier one spell book versus tier two versus tier three. So novice spell book can cast tier one, mage's spell book can cast tier two, archmage spell book can cast tier three, and you have to do some progression to get to this guy, okay? Um, but tier two is relatively easy. As soon as you get blaze rods, they're, they're good. And honestly, unless new things have been added, there's some cool stuff in tier three, but not like amazing stuff in tier three. Now I thought, and maybe I'm wrong, but I thought I had a no soliciting sign set up. But I hear a solicitor of some kind. That's you. Plague Doctor may not respond to the no soliciting rule. It's a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. Okay. So now that we've got this going, let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and get one new spell before we wrap up the episode. Uh, I always like, I want to say it's Leap, right? Is that the one I like? Leap. Uh, so Leap is a tier one spell. It requires uh, some stuff I don't have. So we might not be able to get this one just yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is show you guys how to get one of the basic resources from ours, and that's going to be um, some some soul, some gem thingies, whatever they're called. These guys, source gems. Yeah, these. In order to get them, we need imbuement chambers, and we can either put amethyst shards in them or lapis. Okay. Uh, so if we got an imbuement chamber, that's easy. It's just arc wood planks. Remember, we just got a bunch of them. And some gold. I'm just going to get three of them for now. And then you can put lapis or um, amethyst. I think I probably have more lapis than I do amethyst. Yeah. So you put it in there and it just takes some time. And it'll eventually turn into a source gem. You can see the progress there. Once the crafting progress hits 100%, uh, we shall be cool. And uh, you can speed it up, by the way, with a time in the bottle. Now you can also speed it up. The R's way, which is by using uh, Source, which we'll look at getting some next episode. But at least for now, we've got Source Gems, okay? And we can totally automate this process, by the way, and probably will. Sweet. 
Uh, so rather than using my time in a bottle, I'm going to go ahead and get source gems at some point soon. We'll set up a nice Ars Nouveau area. If I don't get any uh, submissions, I'll just build one myself, and that will be a disaster. And you guys will think that's fun, so hopefully that's cool. For now, I'll 20 sign off. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and dig deeper into Ars Nouveau uh, so we can get some cool spells, some cool armor, uh, and a bunch of other fun toys and gadgets and abilities. All right, for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.